This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years. And they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They are just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are, essentially, slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night, always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Celantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. They're just entranced with him, with his ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us, in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna... <coughs> Katya and Crest never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But Father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant, be careful, the enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot, no matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is, once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well, what do you know? I do feel better now, after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. Alright, run along. Dad wanted something. has rescued his princess from a monster-infested dungeon and is taking her to his magic kingdom where they are going to live happily ever after. Do you think we're going to find that kingdom in the end? 
Though, if it's with you, I'll be fine anywhere. <coughs> Live happily ever after is the most important part as far as I'm concerned. Leaving already? Well, go get them, Tiger. Kenel, come in. Do you read me, Kenel? More hold here. I'm in Jemete. Over. Kenel, Kenel, come in. Kenel, over. Let's just... Great. We'll all try later. Why are you guys kissing Munchakov's ass so much? No one has advances even a ride in your Kutsk. Not even two years. You better reconsider your position on Meshnikov. Did you forget who started trading with the convicts from Zolotoy? Huh? Well, that was Zakhar's idea. And Zakhar is the man. He crossed by cow. Alone. Should we sign up to anything he proposes at once? Well, Menshikov? I couldn't care less about. Aren't you getting too big in your head? You're so cool now that the relay gang is off your case? Don't fall off that high horse. Go to hell, Dan. <laughs> All right. I can live with listening to Menshikov if you're so fond of him. Ah, enough of that shit already. The important part is that Ilkut is still around, and you guys are too. You're right. That is the important part. Well, give my regards to Menshikov. <laughs> Over and out. You devil. <laughs> Over and out. to the radio, too. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all of those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here. This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though,